I don't think it's gonna make it. I am the world champion. What's going on, everybody? This is No Cow D Central. Welcome to the 10th and final part of Midnight Corp C Racing. And as you see here, we are gonna tag out the arcade races. Yay! And, um, as you see here, the races that you do in arcade will have descriptions. You can choose one or two players for this one. And that the racer is right next to him. Now, the last challenge, um, um, I'll explain that in the race. And as you see here, off screen, I unlock the Super Taxi Cab and the Moana along the Cool Fossil, the GL, the GS, and the GT. Now, um, they unlock by unlocking pink spots in, um, New York and London. And the Green Big Queen, we unlock the Zender Type S. Now, I'll explain why, um, my eyes were off sync as we're using the Fossil to GL for the New York head to head. Alright, and it has a feature where you launch control or you put using this down. Alright, now the uh, New York head to head. Um, finale. It's not your ordinary head to head race where you face up against the opponent for, the, for, for pixels to the cars. Well, in this head to head race, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna have to actually escape the cops in the pursuit as you must pass the checkpoints and pass a, and pass a bunch of cops um, de um, processing the street. So once you pass by, more cops will come after you and you gotta be careful. Now, these head to head, now these special head to head races are very tough, but it's worth it if you want to unlock some police cars. And, yeah. Yeah, I had a very tough time doing this. And, um, why, um, am I, why is my voice sound a little low? It's not because I'm sick or anything. I'm just gonna provide pause commentary for this. That explains why I'm not reacting. Um, because if I did live commentary, you'll see how my reactions go. I was very too happy with this because, um, I wait. I w I guess I feel like that I wait, wait, wait doing these live commentary, so so why not do it a post commentary where I feel more relaxed and um, I give out more information to you guys. Yeah, what's the hardest part is that these timers are very, very, very low. Yeah, I felt very relieved when I did this set to at races. Alright, I could, I could pretty the final win hand head to head as I um. The car, as I skipped cars. Now, this is what you unlock. They may have the PD um, vehicles, the patrol car 1, patrol car 2, and the patrol SUV. So yeah. Now for the London final hit race, we're gonna use the Fossil to GS. Uh, when, I, when I did this before, I also, I also waste so much. But what but what I was very upset is I cannot use the Fossil to GT. Um, well, I did use it, but it was hard to control in this, in this event. Now this event upset me very much. Um, uh, it upset me very much because um, um, it is very complicated. Checkpoint one was on the right turn, and then you have to go back into the main road. And and when you um, when the cars are chasing you, they have a weird siren sound that um, they have a weird siren sound that makes it sound like an ambulance is coming by. When CS3 does not, that's how the police car sound in London. Hopefully I was glad that I was gonna be done with this event. I had to figure out a method in order to um, do th this event. And I was getting sick and tired of crashing to police cars to crash into walls and stuff. <laughs> also how you get to the next um, checkpoint, you use the, um, bo use the unused tunnel. That we used to the other side of the river. And out we go. Yeah, you can also tell how you can also tell in the post company that I would not um react very mad at this. <laughs> I'm just so glad that I would do post commentary so I could be more relaxed. Now um this is another top part. Once you head to another tunnel, police cars are in the way as well. And you had to get to the finish point in under this much time, in under this short of a time. Um, um, to go, um, the um, clue to doing this, they mustn't, um, uh, look to any police cars. And I was finally glad that I was gonna, that I was done with this. I was like, finally it's done! God. Yeah, so that's how I reacted. And, um, this, here's what you unlock, the one PD, the police car, the police van, and the police wagon. Now we're gonna do the rest of the waypoint races. Manhattan race number 11 is hosted by the world champ and everything. Um, 
So we go to um We're gonna use the first suit to GT for this one because it's fast Just as fast as the Zenza Alphas now in this race um Now these waypoint races are not what you are usually here to see do not actually um you can actually you cannot actually hear the street racer because the street race is not actually Capena's race, it's host they are hosting it. Because in this race, the world champ is not racing this um waypoint. Homeboy Zero, I like to call, is actually Capena's race. Now Homeboy Zero is a, a special kind of homeboy that drives the same skills and techniques as the street racer and drives in the same car as him. Uh, and, uh, and then two ways it also drives black black cars as well. So the so the um, homeboy zero driving the Zendo Alpha as well. And um, and the, for, the price for competing this race is actually what homeboy two is driving. I mean, if you do this race, how are you gonna see a green Zendo Alpha? Do <laughs> do a special mode. <laughs> that's what. Yeah. So that's so this was an unusual race. Um, jumping jumping board a ship and then crashing off it again to land because apparently of course Manhattan is an island this um race took me about like five attempts to do and I had such a great momentum that um that so far from this race I have won yay you don't see proof you'll see proof in the um and the later ways that I will show you. Now, um, this is what you earn the Zendo Better. It's faster, it can be recognized with the black and two yellow and two white stripes on there. Now we're gonna use the fossil to GL for the next um waypoint race. Oh and also the the uh, beta, um the black call with um two white stripes is why is why is it only why is homeboy two driving with that color? It's because it's actually the only color. Now in this way, Prince is hosted by Kareem, except his figure does not is not seen in the in the menu for some reason. I don't know why. Homeboy seals are PT Phoenix DDX because apparently it is a call is a PT machine that has um, a natural system. And in the and in these kind of waypoint races, you get to race with trap with a spe with a specific kind of traffic car inhabiting the worlds. Um, um, I only took one attempt at this because you know fast machine. That I'm, that I'm driving. Um, apparently buses are taking over. <laughs> it's weird how I say that they're taking over. It's like they want to take over the world. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, I know. I screwed up there. And the best part is waypoints. You don't have to worry about time modes or police cars or anything like that. So, yeah. Also, providing a post commentary for this. Um. I, w I might not be sure what I'm, um, what I'm doing, cause I don't remember, cause I don't remember everything about this recording that I did. And so we are going to jump us, but it doesn't matter now, cause we got enough momentum to win this race. You know, homeboy zero is fighting against one homeboy, or two of them. I don't know. I can't tell. Well, I can tell the map, but I can't tell because they're both at the same place. And as you see here, we unlocked the uh, Manhattan bonus, the bus. Very low speed as well, but as big durability. Now we're gonna use the uh, Foster the GT for the uh, next waypoint, in which Lucas Howard Jones is hosting, along with four of his homeboys. Um, homeboy Zero is starting with Morgan X3.25, but two of the homeboys, Homeboys 1 and 4, is starting with Morgan X3.5. Now during the Foster the GT, this took about like 5-6 attempts to do, because apparently, since the Kurumas are fast, they are easy to wreck, so... And... And what's good at wrecking? When I focus on this, um... The walls are inhabited by ice cream trucks, as the description says that... Uh, you're on your way to a birthday party with this some cake, but you should... But, don't be distracted by the ice cream trucks, or else you'll be late to the party. <laughs> yeah, since this car is easy to destroy though, we have to be careful, because if we crash into an ice cream truck, head-on... It... It takes on so much damage though. So. And, and it took me this long in order to um, complete this race. Also because of the maps, about the map style, the four checkpoints are in a rectangular area and you have to find a way, the uh, best way to win this race. I'm like, I'm like, you have to find a strategy when you use the monocom. 
I think I I think I got more mana when I was driving this um car. So for to GT for this one. And as a sell deal, I got just got right into an ice cream truck. Now um we just head down the straight away and and find a way to get to the finish line, because apparently we, we pass all of them and that homeway stealers might be gave momentum on us. This might be the waypoint where I show you homeway stealer. And um, if you hear the game audio, I don't hear it because I'm providing false commentary. Um, if you if you hear it, you can hear the, that the racer is actually not talking as well. And um, even though it's coming up at full speed, we actually win. And the homeway zero is approaching. As the sea hero knows us, what did I say? Homeway zero, not the actual racer. I don't get why they replace home. Why it plays the street racer with Homeway Zero though? I guess it's weird. Now this is where you unlock the ice cream truck. It has better top speed acceleration and handling has more durability. I think. Now we're gonna use the force of the GS for the race hosted by Emily Morton. Ten. And her two homeboys that we asked them for some of the DSs. Um what I also have to say, um, is that um uh, when Homeboy Z was hosting these races, uh, the vinyls, the vinyls, um, stay onto the cars, as well as the other homeboys as well, so, when you see red and green actual percent DSs like this one, they look just as unique, but, but their own respect, respect for color. Now, in this race, um, of course, priest cars are inhabiting, but I, but actually priest cars that I see like midges, um, the, these are meter maids, in which the event info, the event information said that, that you got charged with a ticket that you did not pay earlier in the past. And that you got and that you have to like escape some kind of city. So, hey, you have to escape the city before they catch you again. And <laughs> oh my zero has just wrecked into the wall right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's also kind of a simple race, but you have to you have to find your way around. It's simple. We turn right around here. <laughs> we went through those two meter maids. And now we head straight as we, um, come on, as we win this race. Yeah, there's a final way, that's a final waypoint in Manhattan though. You know, as we just uh, sip the data here. Alright, now this is what you unlock, the meter maid police car. That's not much tough speed, but I have big acceleration. Now we're gonna use some mod of your wins for the final waypoint, because apparently this race is supposed to fight there, so like, except there are actually two on boys, plus homeway zero. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Um, in these two races, homeway zero is actually in the black cars, most precisely in the down third races. Since homeway zero is driving in a mod of your wins, two, and homeway one and two is driving in a mod of your wins, uh, um, this is a race called Manhattan Loop, in which you go. You um, it's a way to you almost go into the Manhattan Highway. Wait, what? Well, it's that exactly on it, but you almost complete the loop, though. Ha! <laughs> Homeboy Zero is just messed up right there, as he as he crashed. So, so once he crashed, um, he will have the momentum, but it's gonna catch up to you slowly. So, you, in order to win this race, he must have um good, a good momentum. And since there's less traffic, you still have to be careful on where to go, since you're racing on a, since you're racing on a highway. On the freeway of Manhattan. Homeboy wanted to just climb to the other side of the world since he was on the left road. Um, and he was going at high speed. That must that must be um, a real glitch that um, you climb over the wall and we're going at, and we're going at um, full speed ahead. Alright, now we're about um, past halfway through. <laughs> we're going to a tunnel here. Pretty sure we might have good momentum in order to win this race because. This I want to be two attempts to do. I'm like I expected, I expected to do like four attempts at this. I mean, attempt number one I kind of screwed up just a little bit, and home by two actually won the race. Um, now this is the second attempt, and I actually have better momentum. Looks like home by zero is catching up to home by one. As well, and we take a final turn around here, around here. Yeah, we pretty much have like momentum here. Pass the second to us checkpoint, and and we head to the finish line. Yeah, homeboy zero passed homeboy one away, and we win the race. So the bonus may have waypoints are finally done, 
as homie C would be homie one to the line for second. Alright, we save the data. And once you um complete the race, you unlock the amount of fuel under two, which has better speeds than the original fuel runs so. Now for this, we actually gonna use um the taxi cabs and the um, bonus London waypoints as well, because why not? And make it challenging though. Um, this is a mirrorless bonus race in which Homeway Zero drives in the Coursera Magnifico, and um, two other homeways drive the same machine. This is unusual for Manhattan Street Racers hosting events to be hosted in London. And I decided to use a taxi cab because, um, yeah, why not? And, um, it is also bonus waypoints where only one type of vehicle are inhabiting the, the worlds. This is the same as the, um, Kareem bonus waypoint in New York. But it's actually, um, the walls are actually filled with double deckers and once these, and once these red buses that, that, that has like, that looks like blood clicking over them. Yeah, if you're using the Magnifico, you have to be careful because this, um, these buses are very durable and they're able to wreck any car out of the way. I have a very frustrating one to use Magnifico, but this is actually my first attempt in this race. Where I have to pick the taxi cab. And believe it or not, the taxi cab actually has good handling. I have an easy momentum with this race. I might be able to do this race again. Um, but I'm not gonna upload in any um, bonus races um, like they would. <laughs> we, we get out of the tunnel. Um, and there's homeway zero facing the other way. And we're also going to this tunnel. And it's weird to see an American. A taxi cab in London, but I figured why not use it in this race? Yeah, since the taxi cab had good handling, I was easy, I was able to get a good momentum here to get an easy win. As homeboy two is just passing by, just crashing to me, and it would be a mistake, but who cares? Anyway, now we head to the tunnel here. Yeah, so we're it's a weird tunnel though. And since these buses are still there, I had to be careful or else I would have given another driver a win. But since this car had good handling, and then we just and we just right into the bus with them. Um I didn't actually jinx it, I'm playing post commentary. Man I gotta stop saying that. Now since if you pass this last checkpoint if you face the right way you're actually gonna go a straight line, but you have, to, but you also have to be careful since these buses are everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. We win with the taxi cab enough for the attempt. <laughs> I was surprised when I actually did this. Huh? All right, so that was an easy win <laughs> with the taxi cab. You also unlock it, and it has the same statistics as the Manhattan bus. So that's weird. <laughs> Okay, now, we're actually going to use the uh, Marauder for this one. Great acceleration, um, good top speed. And the next waypoint is hosted by Kiko Atano, who's driving a point of Pico a and one of three other homeboys. Based on the same machine. Hmm. I decided to use the Marauder, of course, why not? Just like it did with the cool rumors in New York. Now, uh, in this race, it is foggy, but the walls are inhabited by black cabs. What they got? What are they trying to do? Make a mock? Make a mockery of the American ta taxi cabs? Ha! <laughs> and I just flipped the car, that cab over. Now, what's great about this car is that it is good speed. It is like um the best taxi cab so far that I've driven before. I used it in the, the uh, New York Championship and arcade mode before, and I got an easy victory. So just in case you didn't have the um Cusi Wolves um Jones or Piranha vehicles. This is actually a good machine because it's fast. Um, and this is actually like a plowing machine. You can actually plow your way through traffic in order to get an easy victory. But you also have to be careful though. I mean, I tried to do this in the um, Manhattan head to head race um, with police cars chasing. And um, that didn't actually go so well, so I just used cool ones for that one because apparently they're fast enough to beat, these, to beat them. Yeah, you have to find your own way around. Because apparently, it is, it is complicated to find your, your own way to win this race. 
We just crashed into the wall there. But we're able to get, um, get the speed up, up momentary. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Alright, we're, right, we're passing the black caps. And so far, I actually got an easy victory. And just the first attempt at this as well. I was trying to... See, I was trying to get a win. And I got it. Let's see, three homeboys passed by. Homeboy three, second. Homeboy zero fence third. Homeboy two fence fourth. Homeboy one fell behind. Because he probably took a, um... A bad way. To try to win this race. We unlocked the black cap for doing that race. Oh, I got better acceleration, better top speed, and better handy. Who knew? Now for the next waypoint, was by Larry Jones. Uh, Larry Moore, I mean. We're using the super taxi. I said Larry Jones because he drives the Jones trucks. <laughs> but his name's Larry Moore. We're using the super taxi. Well, um, it has some um, low acceleration, but it has greater top speed. And the way we can get to the top speed is by using the fire nitrous used onto this machine. It is a good car. Good cab, as I say. <laughs> and it actually won the, in the first attempt as well. As um, we faced against Homeboy Zero and his two Homeboy Jerry Jones J450s. And in the respective cars and vinyls as well. Now, once I saw the map um, of the waypoints, I actually had to um, act fast, think about where I was going. But um, I think with the, I think with the momentum of these um, machines I had, I had a good vic, I had an easy victory, a very good one too. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about this race. Um, this um, race um, has um, the world inhabited by Cromwell trucks. I mean, like it's not much, but um, you should be able to see um, well, um, what's on the walls and stuff. As you see, Homer One passing by. Um, for a moment, I thought I was gonna be losing this race, but I thought, well, you know, why not just use the Texas Cast for fun? And it actually, it actually helped me get the victory. Uh, I didn't imagine anyone would be able, that would be able to win this race using these Texas Cast, but I thought I would, so why not? <laughs> now then, um, yeah, these are homeboys just different kinds of ways in order to win the race and stuff. But I, but I had just had to use the route where it was on the outer line and then goes into the inner line because I, I thought that would be the best way to win the race. Anyway, now one more checkpoint to go and then we head to the finish line. Yeah, what's annoying about a checkpoint when you go this way, you have to go back. But I figured that's fine. Considering that I would um, be able to win this race, and that and that homie went the other way on the map, mm. I um, the crime took almost hit me, and I win this race in a fashionable way that I, uh, that I would flip the car upside down, then go back up to his side. Okay, that was an interesting race that I did before, and um, this is where you unlock the Chromia truck. It has the same status as the um, black cab. But now, since our final waypoint is also was by Dylan, we're going to be using the amount of free runs at 2 that we just unlocked in the Ma Fireman Hannah waypoint. In this race, however, Homeboy Zero will be dropping a black Armada Crescendo. There's... They believe that's the best machine. Almo... He was... Who is also racing is four Homeboys dropping a shareable collection of Armada free runs and Armada free runs at 2 as well. <laughs> So Homer Zero is on your Monica Cinder. And I highly doubt that Homer Zero will be able to win this race. Cause when I use that machine in the London Championship, it is good as the as the um as natural system is impulsive on here. But it but its handling is really bad though. I mean when I use it in the London Championship in arcade mode, I mean I mean I the nitrous helped me out, but when I went to the tunnels, it sucked the handling sucks so bad. I mean like what do you even do to that machine? I mean, it's fast, but it just sucks in steering and all. I was thinking that the if you went to two any which of you went to would be able to win, would be able to win races. <laughs> this part was very crazy. We jump off at dusk and we crash into a side. Now I don't know what I had to say about this race. I I didn't um. 
I thought this place would have traffic. I guess not, after all. <laughs> I guess this place does not have any traffic at all. No, I we passed um, the um, Big Ben Tower right there. And a Ferris wheel. I just saw a Ferris wheel when, I re when I'm recording this right now. I don't think this would be an obvious way to um, um, go through in order to get to the next checkpoint. I thought it would be a shortcut. Alright, one more checkpoint to go, and then we head to the finish line. Yeah, I figured this place is boring. Bo boring. With no traffic around them, but um, now that I have good momentum over them, I actually win. I was actually lucky there. I thought this would take more attempts than one. I guess not. And I'm surprised that, um, I was watching now, Homeboy Zero actually finished second. I thought, was, I thought Homeboy Zero finished last and all, because I had a bad hand ring. As you see here, oh wait, um, I I'm not doing a jump cut. <laughs> Um, I'm going to the cruise menu, and um, I'm showing you um, the uh, Mario Crescendo that I earned. Let's just get over there. As you see here, 15 nitrouses. Wow, that that was crazy. This is a crazy system, of course. Big weight. And look at that. Less um, low handling right there. That that's just bad though. Anyway, so thank you all for watching the Minute Cross the Racing. I had a very fun time. The next LP will actually be a call, but we'll have a guest commentary with me on a on a game that I hmm, have liked to my heart. I will not tell you, but it's not a racing game though. It's a unique game that you guys will like, and I will have the guest with me whenever I can whenever I can get them. Alright, see you guys later, and I hope you all have a very good night. Thank you for sticking around.